In this video, I'm gonna teach you what's called the cycle of transformation. This is going to take you to the next gen and next gen is gonna take you to the next level. I'm excited for this one. Are you ready? Let's go. I've said this before, I'm gonna say it again, and I'm gonna say it lots more times. Leaders have vision, okay? Leaders can see further into the future than people, and so your goal when working with people is to get them to see their own future, okay? To have vision their own lives, okay? And so I call this the cycle of transformation. This is how, essentially, we become how we become, this is why we do the things we do, and this is why we have the results that we have in our life, okay? So let's dive deeper in, in the cycle of transformation. Um, like my mentors told me, Elliot Hulse, we are who we are based upon all our experiences that we've been through, okay? As you start to look at your clients and what they've experienced in the environment that they've been through growing up, then you'll start to see why they are the way that they are, right? Like uh, my wife, she grew up uh, her parents were entrepreneurs, right? She's a naturally born entrepreneur. She just thinks at a level that is just so above and beyond, um, you know, a, a, a normal person, right? Because she's experienced all that, okay? So we go through bad experiences, we go through good experiences, and we go through neutral experiences. So what happens when we go through this experience, we usually gen generate a belief, okay? You got picked last for soccer in junior high, What's the belief you believed about yourself? Okay, you got picked first in soccer. What's the belief you decided about yourself? Okay, through this belief, and I also refer to this as an identity, what do you believe about yourself generates into a feeling, okay? Is it a empowering, positive, or is it negative and limiting, okay? Through this feeling, okay, in the body, all right, it generates up into the mind and the way we think, okay? We think that, uh, you know, we think that this is the first brain. There's a lot of scientists that study the gut to say, actually, maybe our gut is the first brain, okay? Because our brain is directly connected to our gut through, uh, can't, I forget exactly what uh, nerve, but we send signals back and forth all the time, right? Um, you know, when there's a bad situation or something's happened, someone said to you really hurts, right? Our head doesn't hurt, right? Doesn't make us, doesn't make our head hurt. We get the, the feeling right here, okay? So our, our gut and brain is constantly shooting back and forth, okay? Signals, okay? So we generate this feeling. This feeling changes the way we think. Maybe I'm a great soccer player. Maybe I should go try out for the soccer team. Or I'm a shitty soccer player. I should never, ever try out for the soccer team ever again, okay? And so it starts the cycle. So now we experience something similar, okay? So we go out and try out for the soccer team and we believe we're good and we have an experience that we're awesome, right? I don't know why I'm using soccer. I love baseball and football, okay? But this, this could be anything in life, right? So uh, one of my clients, so let me, let me use an ex uh, uh, a situation, okay? I had a client, their experience was they got home from elementary one day and their parents weren't there. Maybe I'm not important. How could my parents forget about me? Okay, the feeling left alone, afraid, okay? Generates thoughts, okay? Scared, who's gonna, is, is there a bad guy out here, right? Actions, okay, change the way they act, okay? In other situations, okay? So when you look at this, it starts to start a cycle. And so we don't realize how many beliefs and essentially things we're repeating in our life. We're on the same circuitry over and over and over. And this is why some people crush it in certain aspects and it seems so natural. And that's why other people really struggle in certain aspects is because they're stuck on the same cycle. Okay, so, and this helps you when identifying problems with clients. So a client might come in, okay, and they might tell you the way they're thinking. Okay, and then you look around it and go, hmm, what's causing the way they think? Or they might come in and say, hey, here's my actions. Okay, last time we talked about identifying the limiting action and then identifying what they need to think or believe, right? So 
when we're helping people transform, we got to look at every single level. And sometimes we only look at one level. We only look at here. We only look at here. And the more you can look at all aspects of these when working with your clients, the more results that you're going to be able to create. Okay. In the next video, um, I'm going to, I'm going to share exactly how you help a client identify these steps. Okay. Cause the more, again, the more they can identify it, the better results that they're going to get. Okay. And we have, uh, three main areas in our life where we go through cycles, right? We, uh, we have a health and fitness cycle that we all go through. Okay. We have a relationship cycle that we go through. Okay. And then we have a career or money cycle we go through and you could even maybe add a fourth one with a, uh, um, spiritual or, or religious. Okay. And think of this like is a, think of these like gears or like a clock when one moves it moves the other, which moves the other. Right. So let's say you're working with someone on their business over here or in the relationship is something's going on in their health. Okay. That's totally going to affect the next gear and affect the next cycle. Okay, so just because you're a health coach or just because you're a money coach or business coach or just because you're a relationship coach doesn't mean that you ignore these other aspects because that could be the X factor that's holding them back from getting the results that they want. Okay, so in the next exercise, we're going to show you exactly how this cycle of transformation works and helping to identify those cycles. Okay, so stay tuned. Got some good shit for you.